Hello everyone, we are live with some Goblin Stone. It is release day. We played a little bit of this uh, pre-pre-release. Uh, I just want to jump back into it. I want to check it out, play a little bit more. We're going to continue where we left off in the story. We kind of uh, got some of our home lair unlocked. Also a day stream, unusual. There's lots of uh, natural light coming in my windows. Um, so Goblin and Stone, here we go. We're going to jump in. Oh, did it wipe my... Okay, I was like, did it wipe my save? I, I was hoping that it didn't. Okay, continue story. Let us resume. I think this is a really cool game. A little bit of a different vibe, I know. Not, not Deep Rock Galactic. A little bit of a chill day stream. I will have a video for Deep Rock Galactic later today, of course. I like to do one daily if I can. All right, there we go. Here's our, here's our home. Our lair. Now, I think I'm probably okay with just leaving. We've done, we've got a barracks. Yeah, I don't have any gold, so I've spent the gold. We're allowed to have 30 goblins, a population of 30. Oh, oh, never mind. We're allowed to have 18 active goblins and 12 retired. Now, I don't really know how the retirement process works in this game. We'll see about that. But yeah, we've we've built some things up. This guy's hanging out in the bear. I don't know what he's doing there. I think we're probably pretty good to go. Merchant, I don't have anything to... Any money. We'll go to the war table. We'll go and do a mission for fun. Did build this over here, this guild. Rock and stone! Loomis, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Um, Shaman's Guild. Yeah, so I don't really know how this works. You can earn... Allows goblins to become shamans. Unlock and equip combat abilities for all shamans. Now, I don't know how you actually send someone here to become a shaman. I don't know. Hey, thank you so much, Loomis. I appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying it. So we're going to go out on a battle, and we'll see. Maybe we'll mess around with that. When we get back, we'll have gold. We'll be able to uh, buy something. Right, we'll be able to maybe we'll, we'll mess around and see what we can do um i do wish we could name i wish we could name the 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 goblins in this so we're going to stick with what we've got right now we've got one tank in the front line here we got two uh i think these are called raiders these are more just like uh peon wimpy dudes right now but they can get better and then this is our mage or shaman. All right, let's go to the map. Oh, right into the old woods. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can always go back and explore places we've been before. But I think we'll... Maybe we should just go here. Go to the Furrow's Rest. We're going to push it. We're going to push it and see what happens because we, we might end up losing... Um, I don't want to lose any goblins, but it's going to happen. Obviously, this game's built for them to die. Um, so let's go in here. This is kind of where it wants us to go, I suppose. What do we have? Oh, so we got spiders, uh, wolves. We can get some ore, stone, fibers, and wood. That's for building up our, our lair. Or all of Furrow's Rest. Okay, well, let's do that. Then we might, I might circle back and check out some of this other stuff. All right, let's go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I did I did recruit a couple more guys, but we got to figure out how to make them certain classes. Every day we go back, there'll be uh, new things, uh, new new goblins waiting for us to recruit them. All right, let's go. Four footers unarmed. Find a temporary weapon. Sure. Not worried about that. I think I might be getting a cold. Um, we did have a little bit of a cold go through here. My eyes kind of like watering. Or it could be allergies. I'll hope for allergies. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Careful now. These places are unknown. All right, here we go. Yeah, I had to check this out because it was it's 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 launch day. It's launch day. It's a really cool game that I've wanted to play for. Well, I did play a little bit, but I've wanted to play this. 
Build a Warrens. Okay, so that's one thing. That's something we have to do when we get back. And that will take another day to, to build, probably. Build the guilds. It wants us to build all the guilds. Oh, maybe we have to build them all before we can even do it. Convert peons into shamans and raiders. You first need to build the respective guilds for each class. Okay, we need to, I think we need to build them all. Okay. Fair enough. Before we can actually start converting. We'll grab some food. Diligence bears its fruit. Hey, what's going on, Robert? Just closed up shop for the day. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're here. No, we're checking out a new one. New-ish one, right? I'm a huge fan of Darkest Dungeon, and that's what this game gives me the vibes for, right? So I'm, I'm of course, going to jump into this when I can. A cozy fire so the way I haven't seen any. I'm assuming eventually we'll get new, um, new things here. I've only seen these. I've seen the healing and combat speed. We're going to take combat speed because we're we're not hurt they settle in weary of the world it's nice to go live like i i love to go live more often during the daytime um i don't really know what my sweet spot is for streams like if it's in the evenings i like i've got people all over the world that watch guillermo it's good to see you um, so there's never going to be a spot that suits everybody, but it's, I, I like to I'd like to stream a little bit more in the daytime for the for for the people that uh, can only catch day streams. See? Sneak up on this wolf. Oh, maybe not. Shocked about how fast your goblins can die. We're gonna find out. We did a little bit of playing and didn't lose any, but uh, the enemies start to hit pretty hard. We're gonna armor up, I think. Ash has a 20% chance to stun, though. He's going to hit next, so he's going to end up hitting this dude, the four-footer. Um, you know what? I'm going to try and stun. Damn. Okay, six damage isn't terrible. We can deal with that. We'll do this. We'll inflict bleed on this wolf. <laughs> six versus two well the thing is the wolves the wolves uh every enemy's kind of like got their own like depends on the movement speed right the way they move on this bar but we should be able to handle these wolves pretty easily um we'll do wakey wakey right we're gonna be able to hit a couple times well actually maybe we should just do this it doesn't have armor though armor is temporarily removed so we no, we'll do we'll do wakey wakey Okay, now we're going to try and stun because uh, they're, they're coming up next. So we'll try and stun them to slow them down a bit. I've been playing some For the King 2 again recently. Bet you'd enjoy it. I have it. I've just never played it. I know that sounds bad. Um, but uh, there's so many games. And, uh, like, you know, I, I'm, I'll be honest. Like, I, I, uh, I get a lot of uh, game devs reach out to me right, um, to play their games, especially after uh, the success with uh, Deep Rock Galactic. It's been... Like, I can't keep up with the emails. So I, I do my best, right? It's a cool-looking game, though. Loving the Goblin Dwarf streams, of course. I, this is a game that I just really was looking forward to. I played the demo for For the King 2, and it was cool. Now, do I... I think I do. I think I just finish you and be done with it. Common kill. An encouraging progression. Okay, um. So Cure Murder is gonna get hit. That's fine. They got the most health on the team. We'll try and stun though. That's yeah, gonna be an easy win for us, guys. I don't even think I need to stun. I think we're just gonna full on attack here, right? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's over for you. 
Oh, what's this gale? What's this soul gale? Uh, targets three front foes, deal 40% to the front foes with a 30% chance to knock back. Now nah, we'll do this. Do hex. I've been very fortunate that YouTube uh, decided to show my channel to so many people. With each victory, they advance their cause. But I do need to get back into playing more more games, mixing in variety. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, of course, is the main game on the channel. But uh, I like I love I love games in general. So we're gonna gonna get back into playing more uh, more games, and I love showing off new ones. I don't think I have the money for that. Who's Guru? Ooh, I haven't been here. Who's Guru? I'd like to go here and then maybe here. Who's Guru? An orc. The battle guru. Potential is nothing without practice. Upgrade one ability. Oh. Nice. The rattle. That's where we can inflict our armor stat, which could actually get really good. Um pick wounds. Goes up to 70% if target has bleed. That's not bad. Or the Soul Gale. I mean, the upgrades aren't that great. I think we're going to go here, though. Hmm. An improvement. I bought three or four games just because you showcase, showcase them. Yeah, I think I do a pretty good job of shining a light on, on, uh, on games. Wait, we, oh, we get to pick three. Oh, we can go rattle again. Oh, damn. That's cool. I think we go rattle again. What's exterminate? Exter uh, so 100, deal 140% if target dies. I do like that. I do like exterminate, but this sounds so good. 150% of armor. Right? Like, we can up, th up that twice. We're going to do it. Makes the war. Now deal me another rattle. What's armor up going to give us? I think we're going to go tanky boy. This is this is all him, and this can make it so that instead of two armor, when we use guard, we get three armor. That sounds pretty good. Awesome. Hey, what's going on, Robotics? This looks fun. Thanks for showing off the new game. I think it's an awesome game. And it's 1.0. I was wrong. I thought it was going into early access. It's been cooking for a long time, so they released it into 1.0. So it's a full game. It's a, like, you know, they might update it, but it's a full game. We could go to the Smithy. Where they'll upgrade a weapon temporarily, probably. We'll go to the camp. I'm going to take the camp. Guard MVP? I think so. I think it'll be an interesting thing to start with the guard. So we've got him in the front, right? Because we want to make sure that they're getting turns right out of the gate. Give us combat speed again. Yeah, so we're, I, I'm assuming we're going to unlock more of these the further we progress into the game. It is funny that my channel's kind of become temporarily anyway, like a dwarf goblin channel. It's not my fault all the good games that come out are dwarf and goblin based games and I just happen to love those uh, characters. Here we go. I want that cart. Here we go, 6v4. This is a more fair battle. Oh, I didn't get my I didn't get my armor up right away though. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping we'd get armor up right out of the gate. We can't help it if we don't get it. We use Bash. Slicing Dagger is always nice. Put a little bleed down. This guy's gonna attack and then by the time he gets back, oh, he resisted it, you suck. <laughs> Oh man, now I'm bleeding. What about... 
Mmm. Okay, fine. I'm actually just gonna chop. Chop, chop. Got the big stick of the big meat stick. Ten damage. These guys got armor. These spiders somehow are wearing armor. Um. What about a stun? Ten percent chance to, to resist, I guess. I kind of actually like these guys. I'm not as concerned about. The, I don't think the spiders. They're gonna poison me though. Be toxic. I don't want to stun the wolf in the back and just slow them down. Yeah, you, you just get a little slower there, bud. Tad, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Well, we could toss out another stun, actually. What about that? Just, like, slow you down, too. Let's try this strategy. Look at the arm on him. That's a, that's a, a professional baseball pitcher. Pure murder out there with the fastball. <laughs> Our whole team's uh, tired, but that's fine. It actually worked out that we did this because even with those stuns in there, we're, we're, we're lagging. Um, Soul Gale could actually be good. Deal 40% to the front three foes. 30% chance to knock back. I think we do Soul Gale here. Never used it before. And we knocked that guy back. That's good. Tired again. This is bad. That our whole team's tired. Intercept. Um, so we'll intercept for this guy if we do it. We're not getting any luck on the rolls here. I only have one armor, so it's not worth using this. We could bash and try and stun. You know what? Fine. We'll take the crit. Nicely done. Don't you dare kill Loop Shover. We need Loop Shover. Not strong enough to kill. Wakey Wakey probably hits harder. All right, Shaman's got to get the healing off on this dude, or we're in big trouble. You might th this might be it for Loop Shover. Actually, they might be dead. I wish I could hit this guy with the exterminate. It would it would move me back one spot. Um. Hmm. Let's just go here and see if we... it doesn't have armor. It doesn't have slow. It doesn't really matter. Let's try this one. Crit. Dang. If we had got the crit, maybe we would have killed. I, I think Loop Shover's dead. It's gonna be our first death. We got to get more healers in the team. I think I need two people with healing. So they're five, six, seven, eight right now. What if we what if we actually try and finish this off? No. No, loop shover. They're dead. That's not gonna kill you. Unless we get a crit, we'll try it. One, damn it. Oh, loop shover, don't die. What about an intercept now? I'll just do it. I'm not getting, I don't know why I'm not drawing my, uh, I don't know why I'm not drawing the armor up. Normally do, we're not getting any luck. Actually, no, just finish them, fine. 
No attack for you. First foe is slain. Okay, now we're gonna. Can I cast uh, a heal? Target any ally or foe uh, for 25% of your power plus your spirit and stun. So we're gonna definitely heal the back. It's gonna stun Loop Shover, which is fine. Oh, I'm attached. We're, we're giving it all we've got. You are healed. Got killed. Oh, they're not dead yet. It's just a mortal wound. It's the first time I've had one. Max life is permanently reduced by 50%. Oh, crap. Okay, so mortal wounds really suck. <laughs> Better than dying, but you're probably not going to be of any use to us. 13 max HP. Wow. Um. Okay, you got to be stunned. Resisted. Damn it. There's my armor up finally, and I don't need it. This fight's been rough. He's still gonna die. <laughs> How do I cure him of that? At the end of the character's turn, take one damage per stack of poison and remove a poison stack. So yeah, they're, they're just dead. Now I'm gonna kill you with this. Starting to get Darkest Dungeon flashbacks. Oh, it's very Darkest Dungeon-like. And I dig it for that. Maybe we get out of this. Barely. A bold attack. Foolish creatures. No goblins were harmed during the stream. We're fine. We're fine, guys. We're fine. We're fine. Look at it. Look at it. Eat some meat. We're gonna be we're gonna be just fine. Fine baubles. Fine baubles. Got another bag of goodies? Oh, yeah. Now, the problem is that our, our one goblin is down 50%. That's that's rough. Um, Yeah, we're going to heal up for sure. 20%. Now, Loop Shover, Loop Shover got away with it, right? Never took the mortal hit, so they, they maintained their HP at a reasonable level. <laughs> They're low on the fantasy food chain? This is true. I mean, this guy is not even worth investing in, right? Let's be honest. They're, they're probably done for. They're just a peon anyway. Here, eat up all the food. We don't bring it home with us. I'm gonna put you to the back of the put you to the back of the line there, stab skewer. Back of the line with you. Yeah, that's rough. Permanently reduced. Here we go. Are we done, though? We're done. Okay, we made it out with no one dying, because this is the end. When you get to this flag, we made it through that mission without losing a goblin. Some wounds happened, but we did not die. As the goblins prepare their supper beneath the gray pall of dusk, a familiar face joins their merry company. Ooh. Hey, we got the, the orc. orc sits with them by the fire. He's His not going to be on the team. It reveals a tired soul whose years of youth have ebbed. Over a meal, they share stories of menfolk. Cruel creatures who creep through the woods like the rot of a festering wound. The orc whispers an old prophecy from the time of the Great Divide when the world was set asunder 
When the last song is sung among the dead, and trees awake where blood is shed, from ways afoul a hero is woken, we forge shall be the bonds once broken. The orc explains that it tells the tale of a hero promised in That's us of the goblins, we're the hero. <laughs> we're the we're the heroes. Monster folk. Before parting, the goblins pledge their friendship. The old orc smiles and invites them to forage with him on the morrow. Okay. Chapter 2 The Hinterlands The lands are chartered. We're getting into it now, guys. Into the Hinterlands. Injured. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if you... There's any way to heal them up after they get injured, or if it's just like you're this guy's screwed and they just retire now because they're because they're, they're banged up, you know. There's always more goblins, though. Always more goblins. Let's see what the new day brings. After sharing your stories, the orc offers to forage together. Meet him at Furrow's Rest. Okay. I guess that's where we're going next. But first, do a little bit of uh, exploring around our, our home base here. That's where the retired goblins go. We're going to start building another guild if we can. We have to build a warrens. We have the, the guild guard. Wait, raider, guards guild, raiders guild. But it wants us to build a warren. Let's do that. But you can always move the rooms around, too, later. There's the option to move them so that your base looks a little bit nicer. So let's build this. Uh, are you sure you want to build the warrens? Construction takes one day and costs one. Or costs ten to enemy. They are a renewable resource. New room being built. So I think, yeah, it takes a day, right? We're not going to have much to do here at home right yet. Yeah, every day there's going to be more um, goblins are going to show up here at the campgrounds. Who do we got? We got Bead Tracer, Rog Cobber, and Give Jogger. <laughs> I love the names. And then there's, of course, a merchant here. But we don't have money. We're broke, I think. We got 500 bucks. Yeah, you get some squatters hanging out at the camp. And you can level everything up too, right? So we can level this up so that we can get four to five new recruits. And then we can make it so that we get more life at camps. Let's see what the merchant's got for us. We me uh, get off that and go to the merchant. Can I go to the merchant? There we go. Now, I do need a weapon. I got guys running around with no weapons, but they're not raiders, right? The thing. Yeah, like, I can't give a weapon to these peons. Right? They need to be... That's the trick, is like, how do I actually do that? And then we have things that we can sell. Right? Safely sold for gold. How do we do that again? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, there we go. Safely sold for gold. This is all for building. Gold for gold. Used to build an upgrade lair. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. Do I have... No, this is the weapons that we have equipped. Okay, so we'll trade that. So what you got to do is you got to take them to... Maybe they do after they survive long enough. But, um... Heck do I get off that? There we go. Um, we have to take them down and and take them to a guild to give them a class, I think. All right, like if we go in here, we look at um, for example, we'll look at Cure Murder. They've been around now for a little bit. Eons and rookie goblins can change combat class anytime. Oh, okay, here we go. It's literally answering the question that we're asking. 
Over veteran goblins, those who have already gone on an adventure can no longer change their class. Oh. Okay. But the peon's not a class. Fire's guard room. Or Raiders Guild, Guards Guild, Mystics, Shaman. Requires five points in spirit. Okay, so they're going to have limitations on what they can actually do. Veteran Peon, yeah. Now, I don't know, like, maybe this is this guy's just screwed now because we've taken them out on a mission. So let's, because it's not letting give me the option here, right? I don't have the stuff to do that. Where's our guy with the no HP? Yeah, Stab Skewer's gonna have to get off the team. What about what about taking Slop Bicker in place? And we'll take a look at Slop Bicker. Yeah, see, we don't have the stuff for that. Right, we don't have the buildings built to change their classes. As far as stats go... Kind of, this character's pretty evenly sp uh, split, but we're not gonna... You think vets can still change class? We just need to have the right stats and the right guilds built. This guy's mortally wounded. I'm thinking that we just take Sabskewer out again. We'll hold on to those guys instead of making them a veteran. We'll just stick with the squad that we've got. Hopefully they don't die. Oh, I'm taking your word for it, Guillermo. This is on chat now. Yeah, see, I can't give them any weapon. We'll figure it out as we go. It's got some it's got some uh, interesting ideas in it, right? So we're going to go and do the old orc mission. Yeah, it wants us to build these now, right? We got the warrens coming though. Um Yeah, so we got to meet them at Furrow's Rest. Okay. Let's go to Furrow's Rest. And this might go terribly bad because we've got a character that's already mortally wounded, but we're going to take them out anyway. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, we'll go to Furrow's Rest. Why the hell not? After sharing stories with the orc... Uh, the orc offers to forge together. Meet him at Furrow's Rest. And then we've got a bunch of... This is going to be tougher. This could be this could be tragic for us. Like, there's almost probably a benefit to just going back and doing the combats in the areas you've been to before, right? So that you can farm resources and stuff. But we're not going to do that on the stream. No, no. Let's go see what we can do. I think we are going to take this guy out, though. We're not going to. We're not going to risk other people. Yeah, sure. We don't even have a temporary weapon to put on them. And thanks a lot, everybody, for coming through. Whether you're chat or you lurk or you're watching the future, I appreciate it, guys. I don't know if I think that. I don't think I did. Thanks to our channel members, our Patreons, new subscribers, old subscribers, everybody that's been watching my content. You guys are all awesome. And uh, it makes it a lot easier to make content when people are enjoying it, I'll tell you that. Yeah, so gold, a little bit of junk. Have a look at this map. This is a big map. This is twice as long as what we, what we just did. Here we go. Some stuff. 
temporary weapon. Magical twig. We could put that on the shaman for a change instead of the rock. 20% chance to slow. And we also found another gemstone that's, or whatever, an orb that's 20% to slow. Disappear after the, the mission. Yeah, we might as well put it on him just for fun, right? A modest fortune. Might as well try it. Blast. Heal 100 to 125 to a random foe. Random foe. Interesting. It's different. Yeah, we're going to do that. Take the magical rock off. Now this isn't this this is a temporary enchantment also, right? Rock and stone. Rackery Zachary, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. We're gonna go here. We're gonna put another. Tw we're gonna make it a forty percent chance to slow. Let's do it. It always sounds like I have good ideas, and then in practice, things don't go as planned, right? Like our plan to lean in heavily on our tank. Oh, we can just sell here. Sell for, uh, yeah. Have that. Definitely not getting rid of that. Sell for your gold. Damage versus undead. Max life. Interesting. Chance to knock back. If I do that. I have enough gold to now buy one of these. I like the idea of... What if we don't fight anything undead? <laughs> but we could do this. Chance to knock... 20% chance to knock back could be good. Let's take it. Did I just cancel the deal? An intriguing no. selection. Oh, I did. I did. Okay. Just what there we go. Okay, so now let's go in. I believe I have a weapon that I can put this on. Yeah, right here. This has got empty slots, so that's going to be nice. Loop Shover's weapon has been enchanted. Pretty cool. Realistically, the reason I'm doing that is because I just want to make... I want to try and protect my... I, I don't want my goblins to die. I don't, I don't want to. So, this is interesting. This is treasure with... What the heck is that? Little thing. Let's go down here because I want to see what this is. It might be an... Or I think that's an... Or an orc thingy. Oh, crap. I just go the wrong way. No, climb. Oh, okay, so we there's that's what that is. That's some materials that we can mine. This is the exact fight that I just got destroyed in. percent chance to bleed you know what i'm gonna take that sweet how about some knockback right because we just put knockback on this thing he doesn't have armor we'll do this big crit exceptional skill Stone them. Ooh, we might do Soul Gale here. Or... 30% chance to freeze them. Ooh. This is... Oh, man. I think... 
that gonna make me tired? I think it, I think either either one makes me tired. Chance to knock them back though. These guys aren't gonna take much damage if I hit them with this, right? Like these dudes have armor. But that chance at knockback is super tempting to get our guys up the line again. Um I think we do. Eon 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 is a level three peon now, I guess. You just knocked the whole team back? Holy crap. <laughs> the spiders went flying. That was worth it. Even though like they're still like still behind, like this is gonna buy us some time. What the hell happened? Did it just bug out? <laughs> Did I blow them off the screen and the game froze? Whoops. <laughs> I don't think that worked as intended. <laughs> the spiders are not here. They're they're gone. <laughs> I think I found a bug. Whoopsie. Because it's still showing them as the third and fourth spots. Okay, yeah, that's that's no good. The game's like completely like frozen up because I because that that happened. Well, we're gonna have to start the game over. Whoops. This is this is one reason why I like early access. I'm I like I know some people really don't like it, but here we are, right? Early access, this kind of bug gets found easily, right? These kind of things, it's like, like, look what happened with, uh, with whatever, right? Like, now I'm going to have to close out of the game, stop the game. I believe it has, we'll probably just start at, uh, at our home. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> but that's a, that's an argument for early access, right? Because early access, you find all the crap. Now it's going to want to start in the background. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well... Well, you don't know what you don't know until you run the game. That's right, Alicia. You, you don't know. Now I've got to fiddle around with this. Just give me a second here. Oh, man. I don't know an easy way to move this. Give me one second. This is annoying. I have to change my... I have to... So this game, for whatever reason, opens up on the wrong page. Or on the wrong thing. So then I have to go like this. Welcome to what Tom has to do all the time. It was it what it does is it puts it on the wrong HD uh it puts it I it puts it on the other on my other HDMI slot. So it's full, it was full screen on, you couldn't see it, but it was full screen on my HDMI 2 or whatever. <laughs> so I had to switch it to the other HDMI and then use Alt Enter to shrink it down and drag it over. Continue. The devs appreciate your sacrifice and patience. Oh yeah, I know. It's like, and I don't bash. I don't bash games. It's just like there, there is a thing, right? Like, uh, you look at like a, a good example is Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. It's a game that we played a ton, right? And there's bugs, and there, like, if you go in their Discord server, it is so many bugs, right? So many bugs.
your attack. The art is very cozy. Oh, I love the art of this, yeah. Because this guy, I think, can hit for 10 if we aren't careful. The Absky is a must. That's a good feature. You're not losing time if you need to quickly drop the game. Oh, yeah. Anything that's a time saver, that's like anything where like if anything goes wrong with the game and it picks up right where you left off in combat not many games have that so the whole game freezing thing uh not that big of a deal it's is uh, you know it's, it is what it is we hit i think we just hit we're gonna so um our tank whoever the hell our tank is rise marker is going to intercept this guy's attack that's what this is here And they did no damage because we had six armor. Okay, this is gonna hurt. This guy's gonna start taking loop shover's gonna start taking some hits. Oh, there's my old man alarm to wake me up if I'm on shift. <laughs> this is enough to kill you. Get dead. Oh, we were all so close to the end. I was like, why did he go about to the back of the line? Because it's only supposed to move you back one, but we're all, like, right there. So we're going to smack. Soul Gale. <laughs> Soul Gale blast them all away in. When Cult of the Lamb first came out, they had a glitch that corrupted the entire save file. Um, that's that's what happens. That's, that's what's going on right now with... Um, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. It's corrupting the save file. When whenever the game, whenever you have a, any kind of game crash, it corrupts the whole save file, and you lose everything. This will kill him and hit these guys. So let's do this again. Don't don't crash game. Don't crash game. Okay, good. There we go. Now, if we hit for six there, we're good. I only have five armor, so that's not going to finish him. But we would inflict stun. They resisted because we just stunned them, I guess. So, whatever. Um, Mac. A crit on your ram or something? It might have been. <laughs> Look at that. We actually got through that fight. Hit. That that went way better. They move on. Way better. Get some building materials. These will be put to good use. This will come in handy. I really think anybody that enjoyed the um, the first Darkest Dungeon would probably get a kick out of this game. More gold, more junk. Oh, we should probably heal, eh? We do have this 30% life healing. Like, Loop Shover definitely needs a, a little bit. And then maybe we hold off. I think, I think that's safe. We hold off. I don't want to use it all up too quickly because we've, we've probably... Yeah, we got battle, battle, battle. Oh, we're going here. We're going to get a goblin. We're going to go battle, battle, goblin. <laughs> I want to I wanna go and rescue a goblin. The weather stone harbors divine magic. Each foe has a 50% chance to be surprised at start of battle. Earn 75% more gold at the end of the adventure. I mean, that sounds nice, right? But I'm going to do this. I haven't even seen those before. The goblins have been blessed. That's sick. 
Love that. I'm not doing anything wrong here. Okay, battle. I mean, wealth would be okay because you can... You need you need money to build new new areas in your lair and buy gear. What the heck is this? This looks dangerous. That... What are you? Do we ambush them? The amorphous slime. Slimelings. Creature, best thwarted by magical means. Never played Child of Light. It's it's just a different looking slime to me, right? It's a cube. It's a cube of slime. <laughs> I'm not used to I'm not used to the cube shape, and it looks like it's got an eyeball in the center of it. Ooh, they have good resistances out of the gate. You guys probably can't see it all, but it's 40%. 40% on a few things. I'm going to wakey wakey them. And then chop. So we're going to finish one off. Good. One slime dead. Need to try out Child of Light? I'll have to look it up. Try for the stun. The problem with the stun or the shove is they have 40% resistances to these things, right? Has a great defense matrix. <laughs> Sorry if you end up here in a chair above me. My uh, my daughter is doing some artwork above me, and got a. I'm in the basement. She's upstairs in the living room doing some art. It's March break here in Canada. Um, I'm gonna go for the stun. Nailed it. Now they're probably going to have a 100% chance to resist, but that's fine. Um, you don't need that. Inflict slow on the second and third foes. I think we'll just do this. What the heck am I doing? Do I just play it like that? Oh. Oh, it's a random enemy. That's why. It's random. Gotcha. Okay. I, I forgot. That's a, it's a random it's a random attack. Um, let's intercept your attack. And then I guess I'll just smack you. The hell did they do? Ooh, that second one hit hard. And I didn't... I didn't intercept because I was the next in line, I guess. Thundered. Armor is temporary. Oh, that's why it hit. They thundered me. Okay. They removed my armor. Okay. It's just a temporary removal, right? That's not going to work at all. Fine, let's just hit. They're, they're far enough back. I think we can just finish them off now. The armor might make it a bit tricky to finish them, but. I love the animation on the exterminate. That's really cool. Wakey Wakey probably finishes it. All right, there goes, there goes the goo. Vile cretins. This is probably actually a game that I could do video for too, where I just go out on adventures. I don't know if people would be interested in that, where it's like, we literally, the video is just us going out on an adventure. We see what happens on the adventure and that's the end of the video. I thought about doing that, but I wasn't sure if people would be interested in watching like the, just like a, you know, probably like a 20 to 30 minute video of us on an adventure. Tough battle, but I want that. And there's a camp here. We go here. This is the path that we take. This is a tough battle here anyway, so let's do it. All right, jump across. Nobody's hurt that bad. 
If we can get get them surprised, we did. Um, not great. We might be able to actually kill the spider though, right out of the gate. But I take it back. That's actually really good because we managed to we, we we get to take out one of their uh, one of them before we even go through a full rotation on our team. Not worth stunning. Maybe it's always worth stunning. Sticky voodoo. We could do this. Random enemy. The randomness of it is kind of funky. So Sticky Voodoo applies slow to the second and third enemy, so that'd be these two. This would hit all three. Chance to knock them back. They don't have knockback resistance, so it's going to work. I think you must have played Have a Nice Death because the algorithm responded. Yeah, I played a lot. I was probably one of the... I Like, I probably have... Arguably more have a nice death content on YouTube than anybody else. <laughs> My most viewed video is actually a have a nice death uh, video. And you know what? No, let's do this. Let's let's blast whoever. Whoever gets it gets it. Hey, spirit. We are just having fun checking out this new game. So that worked out. This guy, this guy's messed. He's got ice and stun. What if I stun you as well? Can we make this, can we drag this out a little bit? And a crit. Cure murder, no, that's not cure murder. Anyway, this, our little peons, they don't mess around. The obscure with their 13 HP, just serious hanging on. Okay, you don't have any armor, so we might as well just hit. We, we can't afford to lose Rise Marker. If, if, our, if our tank dies, we're in big trouble. Um, bleed? You know what? No, I'll take the 20% chance to bleed them. Fine. Pen. That hurts. That hurts bad. This guy's so close to dead, though. That's a bit better. Fighter's probably dead after they get their attack off. Huh. Looking for content for Have a Nice Death. I'm struggling on the later bosses. They're a little bit tricky. Um, like, if, like, depending on what boss you're talking about. Like, if you're talking about life and time. Um, I always found the mini, like, the... Uh, like the mini boss prior before time to be harder than time themselves. Let's uh, let's hit this again. I never did end up making guides for those boss fights though, and I, I had planned to, and then such is the life of a content creator. I got sidetracked. You're already stunned. What about armoring up? Is that worthwhile at this point? Might be. This will actually take them out. So we throw the stone at you. Wolf B. I love Wolf B. Wolf A? Wolf A and Wolf B. 
Exterminate won't finish. Oh, we put the bleed on. That's nice. I will say, Have a Nice Death is, is not an easy game. Um, at all. It's kind of like a, uh... Like, for me, it was kind of... You just gotta learn the... It's like a dodging... A heavy, heavy dodging game, right? Especially if you don't get a busted build. Well, there's a chance we finish this guy in one hit. Right. <sighs> couldn't do it. Couldn't get the couldn't get the big six. Okay, now you're done. This guy's got one HP, so it's over. Excellent strike. Nobody dead yet. Foolish Healing. Nature's bounty picked. Yeah, lots of loot here. Be able to get ourselves back up to full health. A respectable hall. I would say so. A respectable hall indeed. I'm kind of waiting for Have a Nice Death to come out with some new content. Really, one of the reasons. Like, I've, I've played it for a couple hundred hours, so there wasn't much left for me to do in it. Um. There. Might as well just eat it all up. Do I have a camp next? Ooh, let's just good call. Never even thought to look at the map. Yeah, we have this, and then a camp, and then camp, camp. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's not bother with that. Okay, I didn't know we had two camps in a row. Is it the map? The map appears late. Is this gonna be an ambush? Hey, we got some new we got some new friends. We got Salt Burner and Hush Spewer. And they look pretty decent. Right? We got a shaman. And another uh and we got another what's that? Another raider. And they're coming with they're bringing some uh traits, right? Bleed resist. And brute more body less mind. That's okay. We don't need them to be smart. We don't need smart goblins. What's what's your stuff? Ruthless? Gain five plus five power after killing a foe. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. More life, less power. That's fine because this kind of offsets the the negative from that. This guy's gonna be really strong. Salt burner's gonna be crazy strong. I think we take salt burner. It doesn't say if it's permanent. I haven't beaten it yet. I need some guidance. It's hard to explain over, like, it's hard to explain right now exactly, like, the best way. Where are you getting stuck, Delisha? Like, what, 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 what fight are you struggling on? I think we take that. I think we take Salt Burner. Deuce. And we can put them in, sub them in right now. I think we, I think we, um, Stab Skewer finally says goodbye, and we put, we put in, uh, Salt Burner in their place. Look at that HP, 45 HP. Don't mess around. You're, you're, we'll put uh, Cure Murder in the back. Yeah, that's good. Hey, now let me out of this. How the heck do you get out of there? There we go. So Stab Skewer, Return to the Lair. At least we let the other little homie out too, right? We didn't just like leave him to do nothing. So we get fire. So we're going to be able to heal. And then we're going to be able to actually get a buff before we do the boss fight. This looks like the first real boss fight. Of tranquility Still 20% lost life. They repose for a moment. And then we'll do... I don't care for like full, full health. But we'll... We'll take the heals here, and then on the next fire, we will do... Maybe it's the orc at the end. Is that our homie? That's a boss battle. Where's our Where's our homie that we were supposed to go and uh, forage with? I 
going on with that? A cozy fire. Yeah, we'll take this. Discuss tactics. They rest and reflect upon the day's events. Boss time. All right. That's a big spooter. That's a big one. Can we get the ambush? They're not even full health. You know what? Because it's a boss fight, we better, we better, we might as well just go full health on this. We may as well just get everybody up to pop shape here. We have that. Uh, that's what our other, what we're already running on our other character, I believe. All right, Saltburner is running, yeah, the magic rock. A temporary magic rock. That's fun. Does the other magic rock have a stone in it? No, it does not. It's not temporary, though. Give him a fist. No chance. All right, let's do this. Over for you, spider. Ambush. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's more, of course. He's not a spider, he's a skitter. You go armor up. We're gonna do a little bit of bleed this time. Take their take their armor off of them. Heal any ally over time. Heal a target. Mm, or we just blast someone. I'm late. I had to eat breakfast, but I'm here. <laughs> Welcome to my own stream. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I could put healing on myself, but we can just blast someone. Let's just let it rip. Hope you're doing well, Shiro. How hard is that skitter gonna kick? Injuries mount. Oh no. Ooh. Oh. Oh no. That's not good. Icky Voodoo, second and third get slow. X, first or second foe, deal damage, 50% chance to slow. This is gonna knock them back. What if I put slow on? These two uh, clowns. He's already got slow. They both resisted it anyway, so you know, whatever. Um. Oh man, that sucks. We're gonna have to try and time this out so that they don't get they don't get uh, nailed. But this this skitter is a problem with their thirty eight health. So I'm gonna like assuming we get up here, this guy's definitely gonna be using. Oh, it tells you what their next ability is gonna be. I didn't even realize that. It full on tells you what's coming up. You go over top of them. Um, you know what, bash. I didn't even realize that it flat out if you go over them and I didn't even notice that it was telling me that. <laughs> so that I can plan what the heck is going to happen. Okay, so definitely going to be able to get some healing off here on the next round for these two. This guy, I think we're going to have to try and stun. And even though, I mean, he's going to hit no matter what. Who's he going to hit? He's going to hit the tank? You know what? Smack him. Fine. That's right. Nothing for you. How you doing, Richard? Spider's dead. Spooter. First one down. This guy's a problem. Oh, no. No. 
Quit spitting on me. Oh, that's bad, man. Now, if I stun this... I feel like I should try and stun this dude, actually. You know what? Have a stun. You're, you're a trouble. You're a troublemaker. Bloody bite. What about putting some bleed on them? No, don't do that. Okay, Kindle Spirit. Uh, heal any ally over... 5 for 25% of your power plus spirit. If target's life is less than 30%, also remove bleed and poison. Well, that's probably good for you. I could heal myself, too. But I think I should probably do this. And then heal off of salt burner onto you. Yeah, let's do that. I have no clue what's happening, neither do I. I don't know what's happening either. I'm just trying to survive here. So this is a flat out heal that I could drop on you. It'll stun them, that's fine. You're gonna get to the back of the line. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, it's so close. It's so close to killing this wolf. If I get a crit, he's done though. No crit. But now you're done. But the question is, should I should I armor up here? No, I should finish him. Don't overthink it, just just get rid of them. Now we're gonna see what happens. Like we might someone might die here. There's a chance, right? Battered and in dire. <laughs> Stupid spider. This is the first real boss fight that we've had first like legit boss you know what we're just gonna punch you in the face cure murder's not messing around they've been walking around punching punching fighters in the face since they were a wee baby goblin right if this uh, ability costs one instead Just us and you now, you big spider. Just us and you. Well, definitely gonna do this. Bash? 40... 40 on stun resistance. Can I move my camera? Stuff's in the corner. You'd like to see this. You'd like to see more stuff's in the corner. What about top? That matter? That probably matters. I don't know what the hell you want me to put. You know, like there. There. What there? I don't care. All you're missing is just like you were just missing like the poison stuff. That's all you're missing. But I get it. Um, ooh. I don't want to salvage and heal. Uh, pick wounds. 50% chance or 50% damage. If target has bleed or poison, add another and it refreshes stacks. I think we do that.
Unfortunately, someone's likely gonna die. <laughs> Unfortunately, someone's likely gonna be toast here. Depending, I mean, it all depends on who he hits, right? Quip Hunter lost all their HP, so that makes them kind of useless. Um, there's no way for me to kill him right now. You know, I'll put another stack of bleed on him. There. Take that. We can go for the stun. For the push. Push. Give him a push. Hell out of here. So we get this one, then we get this. And you're, what are you? Kindle Spirit, Sticky Voodoo. We could put Slow on them potentially. But Slow, there's 60% on Slow, right? Or 40? 40. I'm just going to hit him, I think. That's actually perfect that that's who he hit. That's perfect. Now everybody on our team gets an attack in before he gets another one, and it should be over. See this? Big crit. There we go. Nobody died, but we did get a mortal wound. Hopefully never to return. Take. Ooh, we got some gems. Look at that. Sell that stuff for big money. At the shops. Where's my buddy? Where's my orky friend? That's why we came here. up here halflings the goblins pause as the wind carries the lingering note of a tortured wail mixed with the dissonant twinkling of laughter they bear witness to a band of adventurers dragging along an unfortunate creature bound in a going to be the orc these are most certainly halflings, stout, childlike beings whose innocuous visages mask a twisted malice within. Are we chasing them down to fight them? Because, like, if that's the case, we're in trouble here. I got no healing except for this. You're already, you're already, I can't help it, mortally wounded. I'd rather keep people from getting to that point. Oh no, we're gonna have to fight a bunch of halflings. This is gonna go bad. Not showing us anything. Progress 100% though. I love the story in this. Like that they've actually added. Okay, no, it's just over. <laughs> but they've they've captured our orc friend for sure. I think we came out okay. A new day Nobody's dying. The orc has been taken captive. Ambush the halflings and free your friend. I think we probably need to do some leveling up and stuff like that before we, like, really push it. We'll be paying the price if we don't. But what do we have over here? We, we made... We're gonna... Like, like a mayor of a city, we're gonna cut the ribbon. Build a Warrens. We get 300 extra gold. Another 300. Ancestors Hall. XCOM Homeworld. Eh? What you talking about? What you talking about? Upgrade of the Ancestors Hall. Let's... Uh, upgrading the Ancestors Hall lets you delve deeper, construct new rooms, and upgrade existing ones. 
Right, we can't, I don't think we can go deeper without upgrading the actual hall itself. This home world looks like a very, oh, okay. I never played it. There's lots of games out there, right? So sometimes I don't play them. What's it gonna cost us to upgrade the hall? The layer size can go two levels deeper if we upgrade this thing. At what cost though? What's the cost to upgrade this thing? I don't even, it won't even let me. Upgrade the Ancestors Hall to unlock new rooms and depths. The next up upgrade requires five souls. Use to upgrade the Ancestors Hall obtained from Goblin's death and dismissal or retirement. Yeah, see, we haven't had, we haven't, we haven't sucked bad enough. <laughs> we haven't sucked bad enough to be, uh, to have any souls yet. We need to start playing badly and losing some goblins. Or you just retire the ones that take mortal wounds. Is that what you do? Yeah, Exile of Two Half-Lifers. I think I think you're right, Crackery. I think that's pretty much the the play, right? I think you have to just retire them and be done with it. Like, because from what I can tell, there's no way to actually re recover that. It's just permanently lose the health, right? So it is what it is. We're gonna have some old time old timer uh, goblins wandering around here. But at the moment, we have money to put new rooms at this level here that we've excavated right so let's do that we need to build um the guard guild and the oh we don't have the materials to build them never mind i built a lard. yeah we need to build both of these so we need to actually go wherever we can get wood and fiber but I think we will, we will, uh, let's do our first retirement here, right? A tranquil home for goblins in the twilight of their lives. Okay. Uh, goblin veterans can retire here in peace, increasing both your soul count and population. We can have up to 12 retired. Chance for rare shrine blessings. Oh, interesting. Corruption chance at shrines. Not interesting. <laughs> so we don't have anybody here yet, right? Yeah, so what do we do? We gotta go... Armory, no. We go here and then just click on the goblins from here? Oh, manage the roster. Here we go. A proper barracks can fuel a strong legion for many generations. This is the dudes that we already have, or that aren't on the team right now. But if I click on you, retire to the quarters, plus three souls. Okay, so yeah, Stab Skewer um, never made it out of being a peon. <laughs> they, they started as a peon, and they retired as a peon. It would be like if I had have retired, stayed as like a burger flipper at Wendy's and retired. That was the only job I ever did. For real, I was a burger flipper out of win. Um, yeah, retire. Yeah, there's nothing I can do for you. Do you want to retire Stab Skewer? Yeah. Now you can go and live live in their retirement. Um, before we do that. Who's up here? Who, who's squatting in the campgrounds? What a shameful career. Just started, started and never, never got a chance. What, are, what do we got here? We got not, I like the, I love the names, guys. Bump marker, not greater, and soot angler. <laughs> okay, soot angler already starts with bad health, but look at the spirit on them. They've got a chance, they've got the makeup of a great shaman. That's my opinion on them. Prospects brute. Are about. Uh, yeah, we, we don't care about our brutes being, being not so smart, right? Flabby, plus six life, less power. 
What do you got? Flabby as well. Spirit and body. So the body's taking a hit, right? But kind of like Soot Angler. I like the idea of them having like high uh, life or high spirit and mind. Right? They got good crit chance. A promising addition. Downside is if they take a big hit, they're immediately down to 8 HP total. Now, you can take more than one. But I think we're good. We've got we've got minions, right? Like, we've, we've got some. So we, we won't worry about them right now. And then we need to retire. Saltburner needs to go... Or no, Whip Hunter, right? Which means we're going to go back down to having two peons. You're not coming until I can make you into something uh, better. I think this guy's already come, but we're gonna. We're, I think they've. I think they've already gone on a mission. Yeah. So we'll take this one. We'll take. We'll take. Uh, whatever this is, Nat. Nat Halter. Nat and the Falter. We'll take them because they're already a vet. That makes sense. And we go to the barracks. You are officially Oh, do I have to take their weapon off them? Oh, he's only got fists. Why is that? Maybe be maybe just oh maybe they had a temporary weapon. That's what it was. Okay. Retired you are. Hey Ben, welcome in. Finally a live stream. I mean, I stream frequently, it's just it's not always daytime. Most of the time it's at 8 p.m. Eastern is usually when I can get live about. So I was excited that I had an opportunity to go live today for the for the folks that can't get here uh, at the later times. I'll try, I'll try and get live during the day when I can. And I promise I'm going to try and schedule streams so that people know when to look forward to it. It's something that I... Oh, look at these guys. Look at them. Oh, they've aged. My, how you've... <laughs> the Obscure and Quip Hunter. In Malaysia? Yeah, that would make it more difficult, wouldn't it? They have... They have aged. Yeah. They are definitely veterans. <laughs> They just put on fake beards and eyebrows. They have the retired attire. So can we can we do this now? Can we upgrade the Ancestors Hall? We've got six souls, right? What else do I need? I need oh I need one more goblin. Okay, I need I need to require I need one more goblin. Loving the videos? I appreciate that. I love that you guys seem to love the videos. It, it makes it makes me want to keep making them. As long as people are watching them and enjoying the content, I'll keep making it. Um, you know, I've been I've been dreaming about the day where YouTube finally showed my channel some love and shared it with the uh, shared it with the world of people who love roguelikes and indie games. And finally it did. <laughs> okay. So who's the better choice here? We're gonna upgrade the Ancestors Hall. So you got no mind, so that's just your crit chance, right? Mind is your crit. But you. This is a nice even split. But I don't know. I think more of a specialist build is the way to go. Plus four max life, enhancing your overall resilience and ability to withstand damage. So that's kind of like a guard build, right? Having that, having brute is more of a guard. I think that's fair. Bump marker is on the team. I would absolutely, I I would love for them to put in me being able to name the goblins after chat. I really would love to be able to do that. I might actually mention it in the Discord. I'm sure people, other people have. Yeah, recruit to live in lair. I have high hopes for this one. Can you? Where? How 
Why does one do that? I watched someone do it last night. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'll have to look it up and see. What if we go into the barracks and mess around with it? Manage roster. Sort, one bump marker. Oh, you totally can. Right there. It's uh, it's in the barracks. Okay, there we go. Okay, we can start do I'll start doing that. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing that. Usually what I do is I start I it's one of those things that I I like to name like I like to name uh Priority goes to like channel members and stuff, and then and then I go down down, down the list of chat uh, people that are in chat. So I'll name next time I fire it up, I'll have some of them named after the channel members and Patreons, and then uh, we'll name it after chat. Um, oh yeah, there finally. Okay, so we can upgrade this. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that crackery because I had I was looking and I was like, why can't I do this? Wait until you breed stronger units. I'm looking forward to that. I have the I built the room. Upgrade the ancestors hall to unlock new rooms and depths. Right. So we're gonna upgrade more gold. Baker one two three four five. <laughs> Upgrading the ancestors hall lets you delve deeper, and we can upgrade the other rooms more now. Right. Upgrade your war room to level 2 to start each adventure with an aura flame that provides a random blessing for party's journey. Upgrade your campgrounds. This will allow you to recruit more goblins. Okay. War room is an interesting thing. Right? But what do we need to do that? I like that. Starting with a blessing. We need wood and we need whatever the hell that is. Okay, so we, we we made some progress. We have money. I have I have monies. But we're gonna we're gonna build the We have an armory. We have a quarters. We can't build that stuff right. What about the merchant? Isn't autocorrect great? This is tempting. Right, because I could actually give them better, we give our guys better weapons that that we're using right now. This is this is like uh, I think this is a better weapon than what I'm rocking, right? Yeah, so what's the difference here? So the wooden stool, this is like the low level, the common version, six power, and it does bash 80, 100. I guess this this one doesn't have gem gem slots, right? It doesn't have um, upgrade slots. Gain plus twenty life per kill. And well, that's worth taking. That's worth buying. I'll spend money. I'm not afraid to spend a little cash. I might even buy I like I I I'm gonna buy this for sure. Yeah, that's that's huge. And then we can sell these gems off, and that'll pretty much pay for it, right? More than pay for it. We'll do one more uh adventure before I uh call it a stream, I think. Oh, we don't want to sell that. That's for the actual building. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're good there. Life is always good. Yeah, on the tank especially, right? We want to have that. We can buy this material out of here too, but that's... You know, just one and one. I guess it's probably worth it. The end, it's probably worth it to grab. It'll make it easier for us to upgrade our lair in the end. If we do that. We can always sell off these weapons as well. But now we've got now we've got a better weapon for our tanky boy.
This is the one. All right, we're gonna do another mission. Go in here. Oh wait, no, I have to go to the armory. Oh no. Yes. Still learning all, how everything works. So now we're going to gain the ability to gain health, and we actually have one more slot on that. We still don't have the ability to make someone a shaman, I guess. Plus one power, plus three spirit level. I think I need to actually build all of the other things before I can start converting my peons into other classes. I could be wrong, but it seems that that's the way. Okay, um, this is the this is the team we're taking. Now, what do we want to go and do? I'd go here. We've never been there. Oh, let's do it. The peons, yeah. Okay, and then we have a question there. So, leather, bone. That's not really what we want, though. We'll see. We'll see. I click there. Can I even go there? Oh, it's all showing the same stuff anyway. Fiber. There's there's kind of where we want to go. We need fiber and wood for building building stuff. Do it. This should be fine. That's fine. I can't give them I can't give them regular weapons. They won't they won't equip them. They're just they're just wimps. I don't think I'm ever gonna give Cure Murder a weapon at this point. They've been on the team. They were my first ever recruit. And they've just been out there punching people. Every 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 day. They're just punching. There is no shortage of adventure and peril. So this will be a shorter adventure probably, right? Maybe not. Oh, we're going Guru, I think. Question mark, though. Guru gives you, like, buffs on your character, though. Question mark, though. Am I the only person that sees a question mark and immediately goes for it in these games? I, I generally, if I see question mark, I immediately go. Guru's really nice, though. I'm going Guru. <laughs> I just know that it's a really good a good place to go, so we're gonna do it. Hone their skills, for they will be tested. Kindle Spirit, so this is more healing? Heal for 50% your power plus your spirit. I kind of want to do this again. 50-50? I have no idea. Is that what it is? It could just be like, it could be something okay or something terrible? Um... I don't want to do armor again. Practice makes the warrior. A wakey wakey might be interesting. Add finale... Add a finale, 80% if the target has stun, freeze, or slow. Armor up again. Okay, that's good to know. Doing it. 
We're giving all the love to the to this guy again. Okay, I don't I don't think I need to do that. That's just salvages your that that's a massive heal. Heal target or, or foe. Uh so we'll do for 50% of your power plus spirit. I think we're gonna do that. Well guru seems like the better bet then. I'll take the I'll take the guru. Can we get a shrine? They to venerate their ancestors. Each party member's crit is increased by 30. Magic users in your party increase their magic damage. Oh, we're going to do crit. They revel in the shrine's blessing. Give us those crits. A fuck battle. Then we get a smithy. We could go here for the easier battle in the shrine. Tough battle will give more rewards, but we're gonna we're gonna go for the shrine. We're gonna try and if I get another shrine that gives us more crit, that would be crazy. Yeah, and thanks a lot everybody for coming through, whether you're chatting or lurking or watching in the future. Thanks a lot. And everybody that's liked the, the stream, it helps a ton. Yeah, let's armor up. Big time. We don't need to redraw. Um, I'm gonna slash on you. A bold Ow. Drop. We're gonna kill these guys fast, I think, with the crits that we've got going. Um, stone throw. A vital blow. I kind of want to do this. It gives seven health on there. Hey, what's going on, hose? And you got armor. Holy crap, man. That's not good. The rattle will hit for all the armor we have, right? This is actually just as good. He's already stunned. That has higher chance. Kind of crap. I was hoping for armor up again. Oh, these guys hit hard. Prudence dictates caution. Armor up again. Nine armor. Now we'll be able to intercept some of these hits. Let's go for this. Give me a crit. Damn. Your shove resistance. He's actually kind of far from whatever. 50% uh, stun. I don't like that. I'm going to shove. Get pushed. Then we can get this guy in the front and actually finish him, maybe. Not with this guy, though. Actually. Slow on this guy could be good. Mac, you're done. He cure murder just out there. Like, just KOing people. I might name this one Mike Tyson. I can get 24 health. <laughs> That's a huge heal. We'll do rattle. And the crit. Exceptional skill. And the stun. So this so we get to throw a finale, so we get to throw the extra attack because they have slow on them right now. No joke. Canelo? Ooh. 
Look at that. That 30 crit is no joke. Lead to great accomplishments. You need some health. Four footer is in rough shape. They humbly beseech the stone for its blessing. Okay. Healing effects used on party members grant an additional 120% life. Each party member's combat speed is increased by 15%. Ooh. I only have one healer. Is it is it healing abilities or is it healing like food, you know? Or is it all? 15% combat speed though. We could be like just crushing things. With that kind of combat speed? This makes it so that no one takes any damage. Do you see the Canel fight? Um, did he just fight? I saw, I saw, like, I saw one of his fights not long ago. I've actually gotten back into boxing. I MMA and boxing. I, I was really into it, and then I kind of got out of it. And now I'm back into it. Um, oh, I don't want to do this. This is this this can save your bacon, right? But. He was fire. He's so good. Um, I just don't know if this is actually healing on your abilities, right? It says additional life for effects. If it's if it's the abilities you use in the fight, that could be huge. Um, I need to take this. Combat speed. The boon, they depart. Ready for the taking. Harvest? Okay. Give us some berries. That's not berries. We can't eat that. A decent harvest. Is that a chicken chest? Did I walk past the chest? Nothing must be wasted. Don't see anything. Open something that looked like a chicken. Oh, I don't know. We have combat, we have a shop. There's another shrine, but this is gonna be a tough battle. I don't think we can do that. Another harvest. I don't think I can do the tough battle. We've got some guys that need some healing. I'm actually gonna move um move salt burner to the front. Do second. I want salt burner to get healing off right away. Play it safe like that. That's fine. For this for this next combat, we'll have to do it like that. I, of course, of course, yes, of course, I, uh, let's redraw. <laughs> Damn it. I, he's specifically there for healing purposes. Oh, well, this is RNG. Now, we could try and knock everybody back. Or we could try and slow two. Slowing two might be good. Sometimes you just can't help it, right? Like the game wants four footer and uh, this guy. This guy doesn't matter as much. I don't want, I don't want them to lose their health, though. They've been around for a while. Um, we can intercept. Good 
Good thing we did that. That was a big hit. So you're, we're going to be able to hit the finale on this, so we definitely go here. One shot. Well, you know, triple shot, but still. That was huge. Now we're going to try and throw the stun down on you. Oh, Wakey Wakey can work on this guy, too. We're going to go Wakey Wakey for sure. Still gonna get off first, but it's fine. Oh no, never mind. He didn't. We got past him. Um, intercept again. I don't have much armor. Is he gonna hit for twenty? How hard is he gonna hit? Oh, we're gonna find out, right? Okay, there's our heals. That's what we wanted. Nothing. Nothing. Injuries mount. Germinate isn't quite good enough. Not worth it. Pick wounds, no. Do a chop. A vital blow. The big crits. This guy, we can maybe throw a stun on him. I really enjoy this game. It's a funny change of pace from what I've normally been playing, but it's still, it's a lot of fun. Now we're just gonna, now we're just gonna get him, we're just gonna beat him up slowly here. Actually, no, we're gonna exterminate him. Stick to the head. Conflict, though, unpleasant. Is entirely necessary. Oh, that crit that we took? It's saving our it's saving us for sure. The 30 the, the extra 30 crit is definitely making all the difference for us. I think we just keep salt burner in the front. Get get heals off right away. We have Smithy, then we have Shop, then we have Camp. Or was that was that harvest? I, I thought it was Smithy. Nature's bounty picked clean. I'm wrong. It wasn't Smithy. It's Harvest. That's fine, we're getting lots of stuff. Prefer your deep rock vids? Oh yeah, I mean I, I think most people like the deep rock. But like I play a lot of different stuff, right? And I'm just kinda like, yeah, I can't just play deep rock. But I can. I'll have a deep rock video later. I don't have money for the shop, really. An Got for me. Selection. Well, we can sell. Sell and sell. Buy this and get the health. This is temporary buffs, right? I think I'm willing to... Ooh, I could also buy this, though. I need the wood. I will buy the health. Fine. Buy a bone. <laughs> to buy a bone. Here we go. Trade. A fair trade. There. Now we're not going to be wetting it so much. We do have a camp coming up, but I kind of would like to take the buff off of the camp. We can get more attack speed. Usually, anyway. They stuff their packs. A 
place of respite. Yeah, I think we're gonna take this. We'll have 20% speed boost on our attacks, right? We're taking it. Because we already got the 15, so now we've got 20. That should make a big difference for us. And then we'll just heal up before we fight the boss. Heal up as best we can. That's pretty decent. I don't even need them in the front anymore. Yeah, let's go like that. Alright. Give me armor up right out of the gate. They confront the scourge to that is a big dude. Dash McQuick. <laughs> Even with my combat speed, they're they're like competing. We're a little bit faster than them. Armor up. What's with the skull beside him? Prudence and time are potent medicines. If. <laughs> wow, okay. I guess we're putting some heals down on you. Hopefully he doesn't die after I throw the attack down. They might. I tried my best. I did not know this guy was going to hit me for that much. This guy's got armor. 24. That's fine. Big guy back to the front. Nine armor. Brit, baby, there we go. We're, we're just barely hanging on. I think I try and stun this dude. Of course you resisted. Intercept? I think we intercept. Yeah, nothing. Okay, we took a mortal wound anyway. Damn it! <laughs> Even after all the healing I put on them. You're close to done, buddy. Close. A shattering blow. That's fine. One one hit for you and your toast. One hit for him and he's toast. Ah, uh, sucks that he got mortally wounded. But he should be fine to attack here. I'm going to throw down this on these dudes. Now I'm going to hit the wakey wakey on this guy. Four footer's not done yet. Again, we're gonna intercept, I think. I could do rattle. I'm gonna intercept.
And a stone throw for this guy. You're done. Ash McQuick is dead. No damage for that, dude. Oh, you're taking big damage on the bleed. Assault. Can we get this finished? Exterminate. Unfortunately, we took another mortal wound, but we did win. Nobody's dead. Hopefully, never to return. I feel like I've managed it quite well, actually, not having any goblins die yet. Return home from the woods. There we go. We got some stuff. We should be able to, I think we should be able to build another um build another guild. We should be able to set that up to build another guild. That went that went pretty good, guys. Went Let's pretty decent. See what the new day brings. Unfortunately, we're going to have to retire another one, but we will hopefully be able to build. Oh, we don't have fiber. Ah, oh, dang. We don't have fiber to build it. I have everything else, but I didn't get fiber in that. Okay, so I'm, I can't build it. That's a bummer. Why would I want another armory in quarters? Maybe just because things get over full? I'm not spending $5,000 to excavate right now. That's not happening. I don't have that money. Oh! Oh! Never mind. Had a ribbon on it like it was new. Does this guy have any fiber to buy? He does not. That sucks. I'm gonna have to sell stuff too. Oh, we have. Oh, we have more space. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some fiddling around with that. All of our inventory and everything. But that went pretty good, I think. All right, I'm going to call it a stream. This was a really fun stream. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play more of this, but definitely the main game, like right now, the main featured game on the channel is Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Keep an eye out for that. I will put a video up for that today. I have an idea for a run that I want to do. Uh, it's probably going to be a EGL gr grenade launcher feature. Because <laughs> it's another gun that I think is terrible, and we're going to try and main it. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. That'll be out uh, tonight. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. Everybody that came through, appreciate it. And on the next one, the next time I play this, we'll start naming naming some of these goblins. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Shiro, thanks for coming through. Crackery, Ben, Pose, everybody else that uh, chatted, and everybody that lurked. Thanks a lot for spending your time here, guys.